Hey guys, Creator Mom. I have a little bit more to say about the movie Four Keeps with Molly Ringwald. Even though I almost spoke for 20 minutes about it, I just found myself feeling more emotions towards it. And I just want to say that in the movie, when these young adults basically because they were probably 17 or 18 years old they they weren't no they got married they weren't quite 18 yet so that's so they were probably 17 so they got this apartment that was like when you first see it in the movie you're like oh my god how is this even rentable right and but they turned it into like this beautiful loft apartment like I know this is just a movie, but I, I know someone out there probably has done this. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody's situation. They worked so hard. It, it almost sparks, it, you know, tears for me because it's like they work so hard. They made that apartment look beautiful. The shower, they didn't have a bathroom. It was all like open. The shower was open. It didn't even have like curtains or anything. They built this beautiful wall you know <laughs> they put the, they put their tent over the toilet so that it could be a, like a cute little privacy area I mean they did so good they put their best foot forward they really did like they were not these were good kids they were not scumbag loser <laughs> losers whatever <laughs> that's judgmental right but they were really good kids they really put their best foot forward to set out to do the right thing and the fact that they were not supported in their good efforts makes me so sad. Like I feel it here in my chest, you know? It makes me so sad. And some people say, again, I say, well, oh, you're crazy. Like this is just a movie, like get over it. But I don't think anything is just a movie per se. I think everything is someone out there. It's someone's situation. Someone out there put their best foot forward they had no support from family, family. What they did actually have was very good friends. You know, this young couple, Molly Ringwell had a beautiful friend, you know, who stepped in and helped her and supported her, beautiful friend. So, you know, even though, you know, the family was fucked up, they did have good things. They had each other too. They had their fucking love. This movie is really like, I don't know, wholesome, you know, in a way too. Like the love that you see that they have for one another. People don't believe in that shit anymore. People are just like, they don't believe that, you know, love like that exists that can get you through, you know, a couple through really tough times, you know. But yeah, love that is, um, their love for each other wasn't supported by the people who should have supported and helped them nurture their love. The people around them. Their people who are supposed to be their family. Their parents. Like what the fuck? You know? Their parents were so obsessed. With their own visions for their children's lives. And it, 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 it fucked shit up. It made them have to be in a struggle that they didn't really need to. And sure we could always see the positive in a struggle. Right? Yay! Oh, your kids struggled and they came out stronger on the other side. You know, good. That's wonderful and all. But like, did they have to go through that? Did they have to experience that? That was just the parents choosing to be dicks. I don't know. I always try to refrain from being overly judgmental on people because... I could experience a situation where I realize like I'm being a dick or I'm being judgmental and I'd be like, whoa, I got to step back here because I'm, this is, you know what I mean? It's just like, I like to leave room for that occasion where you're like, wow, life is really difficult and I'm experiencing really difficult emotions as a parent right now. I really hate this for my child actually, you know? I don't want them to be pregnant right now. I want them to go to college because I see so much potential in them, right? But then it's like, allow yourself as a parent to have that moment where you just tell the truth to yourself, not to them. Like, you don't, you know, you don't have to be like, I hate this for you. Go off in your own little corner and talk about 
and get out your real emotions get it out you know i'm not saying like stuff it down always be okay with every choice your children make you know have your moment of processing what these parents did they process their emotions right in right in front of their kids you know they're just like you know but it's fine to go off in the corner and be like man i hate this for my kid i feel like they're throwing their life away but then realize i might feel like they're throwing their their life away i might see things like that but that may not be how things turn out at all this could be an amazing decision this could work out in ways that i have you know that i don't even know how good it can be i'm i'm being limited in my mind you know So yeah, it's just like, if these young adults were supported in, were more supported, they wouldn't, they probably wouldn't have had to struggle and fail. <clears throat> then they even split up because the mother was driving a wedge. She was doing it. She was driving a wedge between them instead of being a support because again the mom was being selfish all she could think about is being attached in a um unhealthy way to her daughter because she was feeding off her daughter instead of being a support for her daughter and acknowledging her daughter's husband so yeah, I guess my point in making this is just saying, like, these young people could have been supported better because they were actually trying really hard, you know, to do the right thing in their lives. And they still wanted to be, you know, they they wanted to be successful. And their parents could have gave them a leg. Like, in the movie, they show when the kid, the kid, the, the young guy goes to get his mattress from from his bedroom in the dad's house the dad comes home and like takes the mattress from him. he's like no you're not taking the mattress you know just things like that it's just like and of course the kid's not gonna be like oh dad you're right like he's gonna be like you know yeah fuck you you know i'll go get my own mattress then so I guess it's just about staying mindful about not projecting onto our kids what we think that their life, you know, should have be should have been like or should be like, you know. <clears throat> 